Good morning from sunny St. Lucia. Time to bring everything into perspective again. This is the current conditions of the estuary. Water levels substantially risen with the last rainfall. Luckily the river drained so that the farms wasn't flooded and the high court interdict was set aside to open to drain all the water back into the ocean again. But I'm not here to bash farmers today. Today I want to discuss the fact that the estuary mouth is still closed. It was closed by management decision in, in 2000, just after uh, St. Lucia obtained World Heritage status. The management plan up until then was to remove the sediment that comes down with the rivers into the St. Lucia estuary. Now the current management plan is to remove that dredger spoil bank over there to join up the St. Lucia estuary with the Mfalosi River. That is not going to open the estuary. That is not going to save the planet. That is not going to promote plankton growth. That's not going to be a sanctuary for fish nurseries, it's not going to be a bird sanctuary, it's just going to be a big flat mud plain, recreating them flozy flat plains as they were back in 1930. In actual fact, my prediction it will push the opening of the mouth further back if we can see the sediment deposits that came with the Mfalozi River floods. Currently, the Mangalisa Wetland Park Authority CEO, Mr. Andrew Salumas, is using the drought as an excuse for the mouth to be closed. I beg to differ with him. I would say currently the drought is saving the whole system from silting up with this fine mud that comes down with the Mfalosi River. Without a proper filtration system, the estuary and the ocean will never be connected again. Depriving the planet of one of the most important life support systems. Depriving Africa of its biggest functioning estuary. Depriving our children of a clean planet with fresh air to breathe. Since plankton is the biggest conversion of greenhouse gases. Um, I'm not going to go into any scientific arguments about it. I'm just going to ask the scientist, what is the rocks, admission rocks called? It's called carbonated sandstone rock for a reason. But anyway, anyone can Google plankton, carbon gases, and will find uh, what is the biggest converter of greenhouse gases on planet Earth. It's not trees. It's not rainforests. It's the ocean. 